us an update right. on your recovery, please. Um, well, things are looking better every day. Every day I can use my hand a little bit more. Uh, it's probably going to take some time still. Um, and I think slowly life is returning to normal. My wife is fighting with me again, so I guess that's a really good sign. And uh, and we are really a bit. So I, say, I think things are really looking much better. Thank you very much. When you wrote your open letter, I will not emigrate, did you anticipate the level of engagement you would get from fellow South Africans who also feel passionately about staying in the country? Well, first of all, you know, when this incident happened, I was absolutely amazed about the support and that I got from all South Africans. So that really, uh, really overwhelmed me. And then I decided to write this letter, and I, I wrote this letter because I wanted to thank South Africans, but I, it was also therapy for myself, I think. And, and, and I wrote this letter, and it took me four sleepless nights, literally, to write it. I couldn't sleep at first. And then after I wrote this letter, I felt much better, and I could actually, still, I could actually start uh, really sleep through the night. But the reaction was, again, so totally overwhelming. I did not expect this sort of reaction from my fellow South Africans uh, and I'm very I'm very humbled by that. Now there have been some of our users on on our on our site and some of our viewers who have asked me to ask you would you have the same reaction if the incident was more severe of course not to discount the experience of you and your family many yeah. people are saying to us though they've they've had family members killed in similar incidents and that makes it so much more difficult to be positive. Well, I guess if I have to be honest, um, if, if it was worse, if one of my kids got hurt, as an example, um, I think I would have acted, uh, um, I think the reaction would have been more or less the same. Uh, but I may have decided to, to do one or two things differently. I may have I may have considered to emigrate, and I don't know where to. That's not something that's ever been part of my makeup to emigrate. But if my, one of my kids, for example, we were was hurt, then then my reaction may have been different. Although I'm not so sure. I think that my my basic reaction will probably would have been more or less the same. In your letter, you address the amazing neighbors who rallied to support you, um, the staff working in hospitals. In fact, after going through this traumatic incident, in reading this open letter, it almost seems as though you are more positive, more upbeat about um, South African services. Will you, will you tell me if I'm right? Yeah, well, I think what happened is that I had the opportunity, and it wasn't a very nice opportunity, but I had the uh, opportunity to experience all the sides of South Africa in that one evening. I really saw evil, um, and then not only did I see evil, I'm an economist, and I think I, I tend to look at things like economists do, they're very boring people, they tend to look at things a little bit different, but I really saw evil. Now, economists don't use words like, for example, evil, because you can't really measure it, but I really saw the bad side of, that, of South Africa that evening. At the same time, I saw the amazing wonder of South Africa as well. I, I could see how my, 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 my family, our neighbors, my colleagues, my friends, everybody came together, the hospital personnel, all South Africans came together and just made my life so much easier, supported my family and myself um, in, a, in the most amazing way. And I saw how efficient South Africans can work. I, can, I saw how efficient the hospital personnel uh, were as an example. So I, I think the experience that evening was an experience of South Africa at, in all its facets, from the really the bad, the real evil side of South Africa to the really good of South Africa. And I can, I can promise you that the good far outweighs the deed of the bad in the country. You end your letter almost with a rallying call, a call to action for all South Africans on Firstly, what needs to be done to, to level the playing field in a way, um, and also a call for South Africans to, you say, let's stand up, let's walk together. What, what do we need to be doing as South Africans to, to heed this call? Well, uh, I, I remember that evening, I was, um, I was prepared to be robbed, I was prepared to be assaulted, I was prepared to, to allow people to steal my stuff. Um, even more, I was. I, I, I simply accepted this. I accepted that evening everything that happened to me, until I reached some sort of threshold where I realized that I'm just not prepared to take this anymore. 
And rightly or wrongly, where I realized that I'm just not prepared to take this anymore. And rightly or wrongly, I decided to act. And, and I believe what I did there at least stopped the nightmare. Maybe I did the wrong thing. I'm not 100% sure. And I guess that will be with me forever. But the point, the important point is, is that what happened to me personally that evening and to, to my family is in a way happening to South Africa as well. I can see how South Africa is being undermined. I can see our weak political leadership, how that is uh, treating us, us with contempt. I can see how our political leadership is undermining the institutions in South Africa. And I can see the price that we as, as South Africans uh, are paying because of this. And I think we need to reach a similar sort of threshold where we say enough is enough and we're not going to accept anymore. So I think that's the most important point. Of course, as an economist, I have a couple of practical suggestions that we can do. And I, and I can tell you also I'm thinking about this day and night because I would like to come to some sort of easier uh, suggestion on what we can do in South Africa. And it's all good and well to say, listen, we have to be patriotic and don't support criminals and all that. But it sounds a little bit wishy-washy. It sounds a little bit woolly. Is there something specific that we can do? And is there a way to measure whether we have been successful? And I'm sure there is, and I'm sure we will come across that as well. Well, from everyone here at News 24 Live, we'd just like to send our warmest wishes to your family. And um, we really do wish you all the best. Thank you so much for speaking to us. And thank you so much, and thank you so much for the support. Keep well. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.